What's up, hip hop fans, lovers, fiends, addicts, junkies? We really want to reminisce with you guys. I was already a hip hop junkie by the time I moved from Chicago to New York. Um, and then I just jumped into it. So like some of my first and greatest memories was hitting up the clubs. Which clubs? I went to Red Zone, Daddy's House, Mars. What? Like, did you go to the tunnel back in the day? What did I? <laughs> Stay today. That um, was fun. That was so much fun. And, and a little dangerous. Like, it was a yeah. little wild. Need that danger. That made it everything. That made it fun. Did you have to go through the metal detector? Yeah, but I walked around it a few times. Okay. <laughs> I talk about that on one of my songs, Blue Bends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Lines but are wrapped around the block. Exactly. And that's just what it was. Yeah. Daily Planet, Wetlands. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, I remember that. Um, there was Grant's Tomb, yeah, Jazzmobile. Yo, 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 yo. That right? Was Grant's Tomb, yeah. Uh, Greek Fest. Yes. And and this is like, it's, it's crazy because it wasn't the flossy scene like that we see nowadays, right? Like you didn't have to have a ton of money. You just had to show up with like your cover charge. Yeah. You might have to stand in line. In New York, you, there were so many events going on that were like regular gathering places where you had to be seen, um, you had to show up, you had to pull through in like a nice car. We weren't reserving tables. There was no Birkins. You was pulling up in a Land Cruiser and you were king. Yeah. That was the flex. Good old days. <laughs> but it really was like the minute that you got in there, you were in a secret society. And you might see like a crazy show that nowadays, you know, you would have to go to like an arena to go see. Yeah. I remember seeing um, DOS effects and crisscross inside look it was, it was like you weren't just going to a show you were part of the show and i think like part of the whole idea of, of hip-hop culture at that time it was small enough where if you had the passion and the dedication to actually show up you were in right you know yeah. and the vips wasn't that serious like no your favorite rap artist would walk through the crowd once you know what i mean at and least. that was huge and it was good for that artist to be seen in the audience it was like promotion so that was raw and it was real and i used to always collect all of the flyers so there would be tons <laughs> of flyers they'd be sick like even now yeah. like those are collectibles definitely the flyers the promoters the promoters I were celebrities I, I wish i hadn't the promoters were celebrities right Some still are today the door That's guy was a celebrity. He was definitely a celebrity. The bouncers. Totally. Come on. Still a big deal. It was an amazing time to be on the scene and just soak it all in. And it definitely, I mean, it made me who I am, I'm sure. Man, I'm glad I was there. Yeah.